Hey TVs, it's Psychic Bob. Well, here we are. It's Monday, and that means it's time for horoscopes. That's right. We're going to spin around our big zodiac wheel here and see what is in the stars for you. That's right. Uh, before we get into today's horoscopes, though, I just want to give a big shout out uh, to all of you who came up to yesterday's video. We had such a good time. Uh, yesterday I went out to Sunday lunch at Taste of Asia restaurant. I just had a fun time. I was trying to eat with my chopsticks. <laughs> it was a crazy time and I had just a lot of fun there. And Anyways, I hope that you'll check that video out. It's in the queue right before this one. It's one of my vlogs, my Sunday, Super Sunday vlogs. So I had a great time. Well, here we are and it is time for horoscopes. And I thought what we'd do is I'm going to give you a little overview of what's going on astrologically for the week. And then we're going to give horoscopes for every single sign. So everybody watching this video, you will get your own horoscope. That's right. I get through all 12 zodiac signs. Um, for those of you who are new here, we've had a lot of new people recently join. I want to say welcome to the new people. Thank you for subscribing. And, uh, you know, you might be somebody who's out there watching. So I love to come to horoscopes every week. But you're not subscribed? please hit subscribe. Be part of our channel. We have a lot of fun here. You'll get all your updates. By the way, if you just subscribe, also you have to, I don't know why they just click the bell so that you get updates. I mean, what's the point of being a subscriber if they don't give you updates? I don't, I don't understand it. Maybe you all understand it. But anyways, click the bell also. But uh, we're going to go around our Zodiac wheel. And for those of you who haven't seen this, this is our old Zodiac wheel. This is actually a ceramic piece from the 1960s. Isn't that great? I just love it. I got it at a yard sale a few years ago and I just have a lot of fun with it. And uh, you know we're starting off this week. You know uh, by the way just so you know these horoscopes are for the period of Monday September 25th uh, 2017 to Sunday October 1st 2017. Okay. And furthermore, to answer questions, somebody's been writing me, say, Bob, where do you get your horoscopes from? I don't take these from anything, anyone. I create them myself. I study the ephemeris, the transits, and I put them together. So they're my own creation. Okay, so you won't get them anywhere else. They're unique to Spirit Channel. All right, so looking at our big zodiac well, well, this is, a, is an interesting time because we're starting off today, Monday, uh, with our sun in the sign of Libra. And here's Libra down here on our wheel. Now, we just moved into Libra uh, from Virgo. Uh, we entered Virgo, actually, or we entered Libra back uh, last Friday on September 22nd. We were in Virgo and we moved into Libra. So here we are in the sign of Libra, and that's the scales, the balance. Happy birthday to all the Libra birthday people this month. So uh, welcome, and welcome, and happy birthday. Now, this is going to be an interesting day because our sun is in Libra and, um, and our moon is in Sagittarius. And, uh, Libra is an air sign that brings inspiration, that brings open thought and balance, which the scales of Libra ring goes. And our moon is in a fire sign, which is Sagittarius. So today, Monday, is a day of creativity. Now, I know we're late in the day, but you know, wherever you are, there's still probably a little bit left in our day. And uh, be open to creativity, particularly friendship and new friendships. Definitely a lot of energy for connecting with people uh, and having great conversations today, okay? Now, um, on Tuesday, um, it's going to still be the same, so we're going to have this energy also into Tuesday. So today and tomorrow, definitely focus on communications, focus on friendship, focus on partnership. Really good for business energy as well, okay? On Wednesday, our moon moves into the sign of Capricorn. This is some earth energy. This is going to bring a little more grounding. Um, we're going to be in the moon, the sign of Capricorn. The moon will be in Capricorn from Wednesday all the way until Saturday where it's going to move into Aquarius. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, this is where you want to focus on making progress. Um, Earth energy has a tendency to be kind of slow sometimes. It's a little dense, but it's steady progress. So take your time, work through the next few days, and you're going to see that you get a lot accomplished. It's a really great week for business, a great week for finishing tasks, and really making progress. If you've got projects that you've been stuck on, you know, from Wednesday forward, you'll start to see 
the kind, of, kind of the wheels of industry grind, as I say, and things will get going. It's a good uh, next few days, Wednesday through Saturday, really, for signing contracts as well, because that earth energy gets everybody on the same page and solidified and focused. So if you're in a business or you're working on a closing a deal, you know, Wednesday through Friday, even into really a little Saturday, that will be good. Okay, now on Saturday, our moon moves into Aquarius. And Aquarius is that transcendental sun. It's very air energy, very mystical, uh, very much a psychic sign. Uh, but it's also humanitarian. So that good energy you're feeling from earlier in the week, from today, you know, with our <clears throat> Libra moon, excuse me, our Libra sun and our Sagittarius moon, will be also present over the weekend for you. Um, Sunday is also a very strong power day. We have Mars trine Pluto, which is a favorable aspect for, for Pluto. Pluto is the planet that brings long-term vision. Mars is the planet that brings fire energy. So by Sunday, you're going to be really focused on really moving ahead. So if you've been feeling like this week, you know, like you're making progress, but you still need that extra, you know, kind of push of power, by Sunday this week, you're going to have it. And you're going to end this week on a really positive note. So this is one of our, I would say, one of our stronger weeks astrologically for getting everything going, really on every front, work, relationships, friendships. You know, this is the week. Work on your stuff and make it happen, and you're going to have a lot of success, okay? Now, we're going to spin around our wheel, and we're going to go through all 12 zodiac signs, and we're going to see what the stars hold for you. Now again, this is for Monday, September 25th, 2017 through Sunday, October 1st. All right. Uh, you know, this week I'm going to go backwards because I think last week I said, you know, our Pisces people always have to wait to the end of the video. So this week, Pisces, we're going to start with you. We're going to go a little out of order, but that's all right. Now, if you guys don't know your zodiac sign, listen up because after each zodiac sign, I give the birth date range, and when you hear the date range that your birthday falls in, that's your zodiac sign, okay? So listen closely. Our first sign on our reverse wheel <laughs> is Pisces. All right, Pisces people, this is for you guys. Uh, and that's February 19th to March 20th. You know, Pisces, this week for you, you too are going to feel like you're making progress. The difference is, is that Pisces, you're going to be feeling like you're a little a step ahead of people. And you're going to feel like, gee, am I in sync? Really, your vision is true. You are very much a visionary this week. You're, you are a little ahead of people. So rather than trying to jump in and figure out how to get your future vision fully incorporated, Sit back and observe. People are going to start to catch up. As I said, you're a little ahead of people. So in the work area, sit back, stay a little silent, observe what's going on, and then really towards the end of the week, you'll be able to jump in and take it to the next level. So you're going to have to be a little patient with everybody this week, but know that the people around you are on a track that is on the right path. And even though you might be a little over-inspired or a little impatient, you'll get your chance to show your talent at the end of the week. In the relationship area, also the same thing. It's kind of like you're going to see what's good in relationships and what's not good a little ahead of your partner or potential partner. Be patient. They're going to wake up and come to the same conclusion. And by the end of the week, you'll be on the same page and love will reign. Okay. Also highlighted for Pisces this week are issues connected to, interestingly, like predictive astrology and mysticism. So if you even want to study some occult stuff, jump in and look forward to it. Your key word this week, Pisces, is observe. All right. Our next sign is Aquarius, and that's January 20th to February 18th. You know, Aquarius, um, this week for you is all about growth, personally and professionally. Aquarius, you're going to feel the presence of the spirit world around you. You always tend towards a little bit of an esoteric view and a psychic experience, and this week is no different. But the thing is, your mind expands in a cosmic way. Uh, as we have that energy in your sign uh, coming this weekend, and that Mars trine uh, Pluto, 
This is where your power center is. So Aquarius right now, you need to think outside the box. In your work, really try to think of stepping three steps ahead rather than one step because you'll find opportunities that arise that allow you just to take your ideas and really run with it. It's like you get the green light and you can go for it. In the area of relationships, also Aquarius, this is going to be a wonderful time where it's like your channeling ability puts you psychically in touch with people around you. There's going to be a lot of energy around Aquarius this week for literally like mind-to-mind -mind contact, like literally telepathy. So roll with that and use your psychic self to move forward in your life. It's going to be awesome, okay? Also highlighted for Aquarius this week are issues connected to real estate investments. So if you've got your eye on a property or an you know, investment of some type, go ahead and just jump into it. You'll be ahead of everybody and you'll get that property. And other people say, oh my God, I wish I'd acted when they did. So trust your instinct and money matters and make some money. Your key word this week, Aquarius, is expand. Expand your consciousness and your dealings. All right, our next sign is Capricorn. That's December 22nd to January 19th. You know, Capricorns, this is power week for you. You know, we've got the moon in your sign very strong this week for four days. This is like your week just to really be top dog. Uh, in the work area, Capricorn, you'll find that you end up being the boss, even if you're not the boss. You will assume roles of leadership this week, and that's just where you should be. In love, Capricorn, I tell you, you are the king and the queen as well because everybody loves you. And you're going to have a little fan club. Everybody's going to clamor after you this week. This is the week where you get to relish in popularity. So have your fun. If you're single, a week for dating. If you're in a relationship, a week of adoration by your partner. So you're going to have a very positive week and there's a lot of energy for you. Um, and you really want to focus this week on really just taking control of that leadership role and walking in confidence. Also highlighted for Capricorns this week are energies connected to um, to artistic pursuits. So you're Capricorn, you may feel inspired to make a big sculpture and help the whole world receive your message. Be open to that channel of creativity and do something fun with it. Your key word this week, Capricorn, is power. <sighs> All right. Our next sign is Sagittarius, and that's November 22nd to December 21st. You know, Sagittarius, um, this week for you is all about keeping in balance. Sagittarius will find that there are a lot of things in their life right now that are kind of dead weights. And this is a time, Sagittarius, where you can let go of that which is holding you back. This will be a very good week for you in work. But the secret to success, Sagittarius, is not to hold on to your fears uh, of the past. Don't be afraid of failure and don't be afraid of people taking from you what is yours. Let go of that fear and you will succeed. In the area of relationships as well, Sagittarius, this is a time of inner work, of realizing where you've made mistakes and do not condemn yourself. Release that sorrow, release that regret and find that you can have true union with people in your life this week. And if you're single, it's a wonderful time to start into new relationships. And if you're in a relationship, you know, try to have those heart-to-heart -heart discussions about how you can be better and work in union with your partner. And you're gonna find you make a lot of progress there as well. Also highlighted for Sagittarius this week are issues connected to writing, particularly like creative writing or letter writing communication, and storytelling. Your key word this week, Sagittarius, is release. Release and be free. Okay. Our next sign is Scorpio, and that's October 23rd to November 21st. You know Scorpios. Um, you're getting a lot of self-love this week. You're getting a lot of nurturing. Uh, there's a lot of earth energy this week that helps you move forward in your life. And Scorpio, your biggest challenge is sometimes you want to go within and push everybody else away. And this week, Scorpio, I want you to know that people are around you that are sent by spirit, 
to uplift, to nurture, and to heal. So this week is should be a focus on coming out of your shell and working as part of a team and letting people help you, help you not only in work, but help you as a person as well. And you're going to find that this week that you have friendships, you have teamwork, and you're going to really get what you need for yourself. And in turn, as you get some self-nourishment and love, you are a healer and a blesser and a nourisher to others. So take in the power, let it build you up, and in turn you'll get to release it, okay? Uh, also highlighted for Scorpio this week are issues connected to music or art appreciation. So it's a good time to go to a concert or go to an art gallery and enjoy the experience of the visual uh, and performing arts. Your key word this week, Scorpio, is nurture. Okay. Our next sign is Libra, and that's September 23rd to October 22nd. Libras, you are in power mode right now. You know when they say the planets align? Well, you've got the planets in your favor. With that sun in your sign this month, uh, you are very much on a strong roll of, of just moving forward. Libras, you're going to find particularly this week in the work area that it's like, what you set your mind on, it's like it just comes to you. You're going to find that it's not an issue of pushing harder this week. It's an issue of being attuned to the way the energy is flowing. And if you can follow that energy flow rather than push an agenda, you'll get to where you want. And actually, you'll get farther than you expected. Um, you're going to find also in the area of relationships that people are hearing you. You don't have to shout. You don't have to push agendas. Just Put yourself there. Be present for others, and they will come and hear and receive what you want to say, okay? So be open this week really to just moving with the energy flow, and that is where success is for you. Um, also highlighted for Libras this week are issues connected to um, home design, home decor, home improvements. So make your home a place of rest and peace and balance, and that will further give you power. Your key word this week, Libra, is win. <laughs> All right. Hold on, guys. I'm losing my voice here. You know, when you talk all the time, it's hard. I have to drink a lot of water. Um, our next sign is Virgo, and that's August 23rd to September 22nd. You know, Virgos, you guys are an earth sign, and there is a lot of earth energy this week, and that's going to work in your favor. You're going to find in the career area that um, you have more power than you have realized in the past. And Virgos should, you know, be careful that they use their power wisely. Don't go on an ego trip, but definitely know that you have the influence to move things in the right direction. If you're a Virgo that's looking for work, this is an excellent week for interviews. You will literally, as they say, win friends and influence people. So definitely be open to that. For those of you who are Virgos who are in a job, definitely focus on career advancement, work on getting promotions, and uh, have that heart-to-heart -heart with your boss because they're going to be receptive to your energy right now. And you can get some real progress there. In the area of relationships, Virgo, also, people are going to be very drawn to you. You have a very strong balance and magnetic quality with you right now. And so use that to draw to yourself new beginnings in relationships and friendships. If you're a single Virgo, this is definitely the week for dating for you as well. And, uh, you know, you may just have a date, you know, every single day this week and a new person to meet. Be open to expanded social circles. Also highlighted for Virgos this week um, are issues connected to transportation or travel. So maybe a time to look at a car or just plan a little trip somewhere. So be open to travel and to transportation. Um, your key word this week, Virgo, is influence. You got the influencing power. Influence. All right. Our next sign on our wheel is Leo, and that's July 23rd to August 22nd. Leos, right now, you are in the place of like being the master builder. Um, this week, you can really look at plans for new foundations. 
Leaders will find that um, they may find this week that they have to abandon some of their old previously held views or visions or ideas and literally start new. Don't let that be a source of anxiety. Let that be a source of power because what it means is that Leos are in a position right now to build the foundation on their terms. So this is a very good week uh, to revisit work projects that may be struggling and literally put forth ideas uh, how if you could just tear it all apart and rebuild it, how you do it. It looks like you may get the opportunity to do that. Rather than staying in a system that is dysfunctional, dismantle it and rebuild, okay? Now, in the area of relationships, Leo, be careful because your dismantling may be a little strong in that area. So don't feel like you have to dismantle people in your life. No, this is where, you know, you revisit foundations and you strengthen them. So in personal relationships rather than business dealings, this is where it's going to be a little trickier for you this week because you're going to feel ambitious, but you're going to have to take it slow. So be patient, be slow, but you also have the power to build stronger foundations that will move relationships in a more positive direction. Also highlighted for Leo's this week are issues connected to um, interestingly, leadership or leadership development. So if you've been wanting to take a class on personal power, um, you know, career advancement, entrepreneurship, all of that would be really good for you this week. Your key word this week, Leo, is build. All right, our next sign is cancer, and that's June 21st to July 22nd. You know, um, Cancer, this is an excellent week for you. Cancers are going to find that it's like that earth energy, it's really strong this week, is giving them the ability to get out of a rut. If you're a Cancer and you've been feeling like I'm just going through the motions and I'm not really getting anywhere, don't quit yet because this week I feel like it's like the new life of water is moving you out of that holding position. So definitely be open to a lot of transition. Be open to surprises in the work area where it's like you thought it was a dead end and suddenly a whole new vista opens. Cancers are going to find that they have a lot of opportunity this week to interface with people of power and to really get heard and have things improved for themselves as well as for others. So Cancer, remember as the Spirit is leading you to bring as many people with you as you can on your journey of success and it'll make it more joyful for you. In the area of relationship this week, Cancer, um, also it's like, it's funny because you're going to break down walls. This is a good week for Cancer. If you have people that's like no matter what you do, they don't hear you or they fight back against you, this is a week where you want to try one more time to get your point across. It's almost like you break down that wall this week. And, and it's like you're going to be surprised that, that people are actually listening for once. So this is a good week to tackle some of those tough relationships in your life that have been challenging. And you'll see improvement there, okay? Your keyword oops, oh, also highlight, excuse me, highlighted for you guys for cancer this week are issues connected to spiritual retreats. So this is also a good time to do that inner work. And if you can just take a few days and nourish yourself, this will be very valuable. Your key word this week, Cancer, is progress. All right. Our next sign is Gemini. And that's May 21st to June 20th. You know Geminis. Um, your ambition is strong, but you must be very careful this week that you don't jump too quickly. Geminis, you're very similar to the Pisces people this week in that you're really seeing ahead. That air energy that stimulates your mind and your heart and your soul is going to be very present for you. And as we've got that fire energy earlier in the week here, today and tomorrow, you're going to be really feeling like, oh my God, i got to get this going. Try to hold back. Try to just look at what's going on. And again, be a step ahead, which you already are. But but understand that you what you're seeing is accurate and that you can trust your instinct, but you can also trust it to wait a little while, okay? In the area of relationships, Gemini, also, um, pay close attention to what your partner is not saying. As a Gemini, you love to communicate. You're a great conversationalist. 
But where you may be challenged is, is that there are words underneath the words this week. So listen carefully what your partner or your potential partner is saying, but then listen to the true message underneath it because they may not be saying everything they're feeling. Your psychic senses will be heightened. You'll pick that up and that will help you have a better conversation so you don't get off path, okay? Um, also highlighted for Gemini's this week are issues connected to mystical studies of the occult. Great time to study spiritualism, channeling, magic, these sort of things. Your key word this week, Gemini, is monitor. Monitor closely all the messages, visible and invisible. All right. Our next sign is Taurus. That's April 21st to May 20th. All right, Taurus. Now, you know, you are one of the most high-powered signs of the Zodiac. But this week, you got to walk through the china shop. You know, they say, don't be the bull in the china shop. There used to be a commercial. I think it was for an insurance company years ago where they had a bull go through the china shop. And everybody was holding their breath. You know, like, oh, my guy's going to flip over the china. Well, that's kind of you this week. As you're going to maneuver through delicate situations, you will have influence. You will have power. But how you measure that out will determine whether you're successful or not. So this is not a week to be the bull crashing through the china. It's the bull that maneuvers through the china shop with grace, poise, elegance, and decorum. If you can do that, you will win people, influence friends, win people over, and be a major success. This energy is also very strong in the relationship area. You may be tempted just to tell your partner, you know, I'm done with you, I can't deal with it, and just go off. Don't do that. That's that fire energy, that's that Martian energy that's coming in. No. Let your power be that you know the way, but you can show the way in a gentle way. And then everybody will be happy with you, okay? So, no, you got the power, okay? It's not an issue of not having the power, but it's using it judiciously, okay? So remember that you're going to be just fine. Have a great week, actually. Um, also highlighted for you guys, uh, you know, are issues connected to long-term investments. So if you're a Taurus and you're thinking about, like, long-term retirement, property investments, all that sort of stuff, definitely look into that as well, Okay. Your key word this week, Taurus, is walk. Walk, not run. All right. And our last, but not least, which is actually normally our first, and thank you, Aries, for your patience. You know, we have to give you and the Pisces each a little help sometimes. So you appreciate your patience in helping Pisces this week. All right. Aries is March 21st to April 20th. You know, Aries, you are feeling that fire power as well. You know, starting off this week with that fire of Sagittarius has you about to be jumping out of your, you know, jumping out of your pants and running down the street streaking. This week, like the Taurus, you're going to have to take things slow. Don't jump out of the gate before the gate's open because you'll choke yourself, okay? You ever seen them rodeos? Not that I like rodeos, but when bulls try to get out of the gate, well, you and the Taurus both are kind of racing this week, and both y'all got to slow down, okay? So, this, putting you at the end of the horoscopes, this is your first test in patience this week, and if you're able to hang in here and get your horoscope, you're already on the right track, okay? Now, in the area of work, again, patience is going to be your key. Um, you're very ready to move forward. I feel that Aries, one of your challenges is to go back and double check your plans. If you have to make um, like a speech this week or do a, um, you know, like a, a presentation, don't just assume it's all in order. Double check your slides, double check your cue cards, double check your notes. Take that extra time because that will be what cements your deal, okay? Your ideas are brilliant, you're on track, but you've got to present it in a way that is not over-anticipating, over-eager, okay? Now, in the area of relationships, whoo, if you're Aries, this is Romance Week, I'm telling you, love is in the air. You Aries are just like, people are worshiping you. That's all right, you can have some 
some joy in being worshipped a little while. So just enjoy it. Have fun with relationships. Um, if you're having some struggle in that area right now, I tell you, this week's going to be the week to fix it. So, but again, take it slow. Let your natural flame inside be your power. You know, flame is powerful. So you can just be honest. You don't have to have a big forest fire. You can have one little candle, and that's power. So remember, inside of you, Aries, you got that eternal flame. Mars is your guiding flame, and it's very powerful right now. So take things slow, okay? Also highlighted for Aries this week are issues connected to, um, to writing as well. So if you've been inspired, feeling like you want to write something, poem, write a book, write a play, start that. It'll be awesome. Your key word this week, Aries, is patience. All right. Oh my gosh, guys. So look, we went around our big zodiac wheel. And I tell you, I had such a wonderful time. Now listen, I have to remind you, because you know, a lot of people write me and they say, Psychic Bob, I'm so scared. I saw a negative transit in the horoscope book. And now I think my life is over. No, 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 no. Listen, the zodiac above us is always spinning. And what it does is it brings to us each day new opportunities for a fresh start. The stars do not control our lives nor compel us, but they are allies on the way to help us on our journey. So if you're at a time in your life where you feel overwhelmed, do not give in to despair. Just pause and look to the stars. Above us spin the zodiac wheel and the stars will be our allies on the journey. Each day brings a new beginning and a new opportunity for a fresh start. So keep faith, hope, and love in your heart and let the stars be your allies. I'm so glad you're here. You guys are the best. Listen, I hope you'll be here every week for horoscopes. You know, for those of you who are waiting for a private reading or maybe you can't do one, this is a wonderful weekly thing to get a little psychic help. And everybody watching this now has a little reading, so you have stuff to work with this week. And, you know, for those of you who may not know, I am a full-time professional psychic, and I do do private readings. So I charge for private readings, and you can read about that at my website at robert-hickman.com. But if you want to get on my schedule, give me a call at my office at 571-483-2112 or write to me at my email at readings at robert-hickman.com. I can do phone readings. I can do Skype readings. I can do in-person readings. So we do it all here. And I'd love to have you on my schedule for a private session. Well, you guys are the best. I want to send you my love. You guys are rocking. Thanks for being here at Spirit Channel. Um, by the way, also, if you get a chance and you want to check out my website. Also, I have a little bookstore over there, and I have some books that I have printed and published. And uh, one is Psyche Bob's Book of Wiccan Wisdom. It's my thoughts about uh, my Wiccan journey. And this one here is a very popular one, Messages from Rose. It tells about my work as a channel, as a medium, and some of my psychic adventures. So definitely check those out also at my website, links below. Well, guys, listen, thank you for being here. Aries, thank you for your patience today. And I love you guys. We'll be back here tomorrow on Tuesday. What's Tuesday? Oh, messages from the spirit world. How could I forget? So be here. Um, for those of you who do messages from the spirit worlds every Tuesday, and that's where I gather letters from people that write to me and I answer psychic questions. So you can put your questions also in this video in the comment box below and I'll check them here. Or you can write to me at my, my, my website. Either way, send me your questions. And I'm going to pull a bunch tomorrow, and we'll see what the Spirit has. You guys are best. I love you. Thanks for being there. We'll see you here tomorrow for messages from the Spirit world. But until then, may you always blessed be.